This is update 25 for the French Biointensive Organic Raised Bed Garden Series. I pulled out a couple of the kale plants that have fallen completely flat and they had some kind of a bug infestation. It didn't look like aphids, but I have never seen anything like it and the plants were not doing well. So I fed them to the the ducks and the turkeys and the chickens. Um, need to harvest some more parsley and cilantro for drying. Uh, looks like I have some yarrow I could do too. I'm still getting tomatoes back here. There's still quite a lot of green tomatoes in there hiding. And it's put on a lot of lush foliage, but there's also been a lot of die-off uh, and harvesting on the sorrel. That's the common sorrel. This is the French sorrel. And the little blood vein sorrel is down here. It's not getting much light, but because the common sorrel is so big, I'm going to have to... Uh, plant them further apart next year. My leeks are getting really big. This one is starting to look like the ones in the store. The three watermelon that are left are not ripe yet. I'm hoping they will ripen soon. I'm, I'm expecting a frost by the last week of October. October and I hope they beat it to it. Otherwise the birds are going to have a nice little treat. Still have quite a bit of chard and the kale over here is doing really well. Both types. Um, getting peppers, mostly jalapenos, but there are golden treasures coming. There is one paprika down there. Um, my lettuce, well, it's getting bigger, but it's getting really leggy. Um, I thought this would be a good place to plant it, that it would get sun and shade like it, it needs, but I think it's just getting mostly shade. I'm just making it super leggy. But I can... Pardon me. Um, I can at least start making some salads. Um, the broccoli is starting to get of some size, especially those ones. Um, I've had broccoli come on in January, so hopefully It will. It puts off a frost quite well. Um, the raspberries are starting to finish, I think. Uh, the Like with the strawberries, the, uh, the rain just causes so much mold. It's just not good. 